The Bible say in Hebrew 9.27, it's appointed man wants to die, then the judgment is one appointment we can change. Amen. And every one of us going to die one day or be caught up or be left behind. So my question to you is, have you made the right decision about your life? Have you made the right decision about your destination? Because one day, we're going to die. One day, we're going to be caught up. And one day, we're going to be left behind. So my question to you is, have you made the right decision about your soul? Because one day, my friend, we're going to die. And then we're going to stand before God. And God going to ask the angel, or God going to say, well done. So my question to you, have you made the right decision about your soul? In Philippians chapter 2, verse 9 and 10, it say, Wherefore God have, have highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee shall bow of things in heaven and things in the earth and things under earth, that every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. My question to you, are you bowing now at the name of Jesus? Or are you bowing to statues? Are you bowing to the image that's in your mind? The Bible says, every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. So I'm telling you, are you bowing now or bow later to be cast? In Proverbs, and the verses above, it said it twice, that there's a way that seems right to a man, but the end thereof is the way of death. Listen, my friend, we are not going to the same place. So if we're not going to the same place, so the one person that can guarantee us into heaven. Hey, glory to God. If we don't obey him, we're going to hell. So the Bible says there's a way that seems right. Your way might not be the right way. Muhammad ain't the right way. Seventh day event is not the right way. Mormon's not the right way. Hey, glory to God. Amen. Come on now. Latter day sinks. Jehovah's Witness. Amen. Amen. Pentecostalism, but Jesus Christ is the right way. Jeremiah, eighth chapter, verse twenty, verse nineteen, twenty. Behold, the voice of the cry of the daughter of my people, because of them that dwell in the far country, is not the Lord in Zion, is not a king in her. Why have the they provoked me to anger? With their graven images and their strange vanity. The harvest is past. The summer is ended. And we are not saved. For the hurt of the daughter of my people and my hurt. I am black. And astonished have taken hold on me. Is there any ball in Gilead? Is there a physician there? Why there is not the health of the daughter of my people recover? Yet, we are not saved. Yet, 